Welcome back to English 4.0, the radio show. Let's go! Advanced. Class 35, welcome. Welcome, advanced students, to class 35. Here we are, coming back. Coming back from commercial break, getting advanced, stepping it up a notch. We're expecting a little bit more from you. We expect a lot from our students here. Yes, we sure do. I hope you're paying attention. Do you remember yesterday we were talking about dates? Dates. And we talked about the placement of the O in dates. When we say O, 1908. The battle took place in 1908. So I, I mentioned yesterday, you may recall, well, hopefully you do, if you were paying attention, if you were listening, the four cases in which we say O, well, inst instead of zero. Now, it's not just four. There, there can be more, but there are, there are a number of common cases in which we tend to say O instead of zero. Dates. Are, well, that's one of the cases. Dates is one of the cases. 1908. He crossed the ocean. He discovered the, the, the village in 1908. And then we have uh, time. It's 3.05. Five minutes past three. It's 3.05, we can say. Telephone numbers, we say O instead of zero, typically. Another thing about telephone numbers, we pronounce the numbers according to the individual digit, not in groups of two. In Spanish, you say 91, 45, 56. In English, we say 9, 1, 4, 5, 2, 8, 3, 1, O. So O instead of 0, O. 9, O, 2, 3, O, 5, O, 4, O, 1. According to the individual digit, usually, this is not a rule. It's a guideline. This is the, this is the reality of how people tend to do it, how people usually say these things. Uh, so we had time, years, telephone numbers, and also room numbers. In a hotel, you're in room 304, you're in room 205, or in a hospital. He's staying in room 703, for example. Okay, now, yesterday I got into a little bit of history, practicing with these dates. We talked about uh, a few popular, well, a, f a few events, not necessarily the most famous events, but uh, a few events from 1901. To 1906, sorry, to 1905. Today, I can tell you that in 1906, uh, well, there was an earthquake, a major earthquake that hit Ecuador. It struck Ecuador, 8.6 on the Richter scale. Wow, major, major. And then later on in May, Jack London's novel White Fang. It was serialized in the Outing magazine, so it was serialized. It means it was printed as a serial, like as a recurring, uh, you know, broken into segments and printed in a magazine for people to, to read and try to increase uh, uh, the number of subscribers of the magazine. In 1907, well, it was the uh, 18th of March. On the 18th of March, 1907, the first and only train robbery in Sweden took place. It's true. Night, uh, March 18th, 1907. Later, on the 15th of June, the Second Hague Peace Conference was held. The Hague, La Haya, the Hague in the Netherlands. The Netherlands being another country where we use the article the. The Netherlands, the United States, the United Arab Emirates, the United Kingdom, the UK, right? The United Kingdom. In 1908, the Olympics uh, were held in London. Yeah. So then a hundred years later, well, a hundred and, uh, what, four years later, they would be held in London again. Yeah. September 27th, Henry Ford produces his first Model T car. Very famous. Just a few years before, he had set a land speed record. But working on a, on a model that would become popular, of course, the Model T, very famous in the history of Ford. Henry Ford produces the first Model T car. On the 27th of September, 1908. There you go. A little bit of history. Practicing the dates there. I used to live in Canada. I don't live there anymore, but I used to. I used to live in Canada. That's a fact. I'm not lying to you. I used to live in Canada, but I don't live there anymore. 
I don't ride my bicycle to school anymore. You used to ride your bicycle to school. So let's, let's practice with the logical conclusion here. If I give you a piece of information, give me the appropriate sentence using used to, okay? It doesn't snow as often as it did before. It used to snow more often. Right. It used to snow more often. Good. We can't say it used to snow a lot because that's not necessarily true. Maybe it snowed a little bit, but now it just snows even less. But what I can say is that it, it, it doesn't snow as often. Well, in fact, in, in fact, what I should say is it snows less often than it used to. It's a frequency we're talking about. Not the quantity of snow, but a frequency. It snows less often. It doesn't snow as often as it used to. It used to snow more. It doesn't snow as often as it, as it did before. It doesn't snow as often as it used to. Okay? He doesn't smoke as much as he did before. Now, I'm not, I can't say he smokes a lot. Or that he smoked a lot in the past, but he smoked more, right? So he used to smoke more. He used to smoke more. I think in general, people used to smoke more. People are cutting back. Cutting back. They are reducing the number of cigarettes that they smoke. The amount that they smoke. Yes. We don't need their help anymore. Well, we logically, we don't need it anymore. We used to need it. Yeah, we sure did. We used to need their help. She doesn't love me anymore. Terrible. She doesn't love me anymore. She used to love me. This next one is also so true. I don't have a bicycle anymore. I used to have a bicycle. Yeah, in Canada, I had a bicycle, but I don't have a bicycle anymore. I used to have a bicycle. I wish I still had a bicycle. I used to have one. I don't have a bicycle anymore. I don't have a strange accent anymore. You, you, Kyle, you used to have a strange accent. Yeah, maybe. I used to have a strange accent. Sure. <laughs> expression of the day. Well, it's time now for the expression of the day. That's right, the expression of the day. To be all ears. To be all ears. Ears for hearing things. Ears. E-A-R-S. To be. To be all ears. Someone says, Kyle, I have something important to tell you. I say, hey, I'm all ears. Estoy escuchando. I'm listening. I'm paying attention. I am going to listen to what you have to say. I'm all ears. If you need to tell me something, I am all ears. Right? So it means I am listening. But it means you're listening, but also you're going to pay attention and you're going to consider, you're truly going to consider the, the thing that, that this person tells you. You're going to, you're interested in this person's opinion. Right? So if I have an idea, I go to my boss I say, listen, I have an idea. And they say, Kyle, I'm all ears. I say, wonderful. I'm glad that you're listening. I'm glad that you care about my opinion. And that's interesting. It's, and it's true. I'd rather have a boss that says, hey, I'm all ears, rather than, I, rather than saying, oh, I don't have time for you, or I don't care what you think. It's important to have bosses that care about your opinion, and that will say, hey, I'm all ears. If you have an idea, let's talk about it. I am all ears. To be all ears. I had a great idea. I went to my boss, and he was all ears. He listened to it, and, and we discussed it and, it, and it worked. It was great. It was a good idea. So that's our expression of the day. To be all ears. Right? No problem? All right, let's move on. Now let's practice... Used to, again, one of my favorite structures, used to, in the, the past form, used to plus infinitive. So this past form. In the interrogative. So I'm going to say something. I don't live in Canada anymore. And you will give me a question. Kyle, did you, did you used to live in Canada? Yes, I used to live in Canada. I don't see her anymore. Ask me the question. Did you used to see her? 
Did you used to see her? Now, used, used, with, with a D, used, but we say t, used, used to. And it goes straight to the two, so we link the sounds. Used to, used to, used to. Conmigo, used to. Five times. Used to, used to, used to, used to, used to. Very good. I used to live in Canada. I used to go see her, yes. We don't go there anymore. Did you used to go there? Yes, I used to go there. It's not the most important one anymore. Did it used to be the most important one? Did it used to be the most important one? Yes, it used to be the most important one, but it's not the most important one anymore. He doesn't like tomatoes anymore. Did he used to like tomatoes? Yes. I used to hate tomatoes, but now I'm starting to like them a little bit. We don't own a snowmobile anymore. Did you used to own a snowmobile? Very good. En voz alta, out loud at home. Did you used to own a snowmobile? Do you know what a snowmobile is? It's like a, on, on water you have a ski-do, one of those little personal boats, one of those little personal, uh, like a jet ski, ski-do. And uh, for traveling over snow, we have a snowmobile. And uh, they're a great little personal transportation device, a lot of fun. I have a friend who lived in uh, Maine, in the northeastern United States, and he had a few snowmobiles. He had two. So I used to go visit him, and we would drive around on the snowmobiles in the snow. We had probably a meter of snow there in northeastern United States, a meter of snow in the winter, and it was perfect for driving around on snowmobiles. And there were trails that went from Maine all right up into Canada. You could drive your snowmobile all the way up into Canada. It was great. I don't take guitar classes anymore. Did you used to take guitar classes, Kyle? Did you used to take guitar classes? Yes, I used to take guitar classes, but I don't take them anymore. It doesn't work anymore. Did it used to work? They don't drive there anymore. Did they used to drive there? She doesn't wear that dress anymore. Did she used to wear that dress? It doesn't smell like sulfur anymore. Sulfur. So it doesn't smell like sulfur anymore. Did it used to smell like sulfur? Did it used to smell like sulfur? There are some towns that have mills, they, uh, that have uh, factories or plants, or a fabrica, supported through a mill or, or a plant for, 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 fa for a factory, una fabrica, supported through mill, plant, también, plants. Um, in my hometown, there is a paper plant, a paper mill. It's a factory where they make paper, hacen papel, for newspaper. And uh, they make the paper for the Washington Post, yes, in my little town in Canada. And uh, sometimes it smells like various chemicals. It, it omits a smell. My, no, my town doesn't smell bad, but sometimes, occasionally, near the mill, you'll get a certain smell related to the chemicals that come from the mill. It doesn't smell like sulfur anymore. Did it used to smell like sulfur? Sulfur, the chemical, sulfur? Mm. He doesn't like her anymore. Did he used to like her? They don't have a great team anymore. Did they used to have a great team? Yeah, they used to have a great team, but they don't have a great team anymore. They don't build boats anymore. Did they used to build boats? They don't live on the coast anymore. Did they used to live on the coast? I don't own a canoe anymore. Did you used to own a canoe? Yes, I, I used to own a canoe. In fact, I still do, I suppose, in Canada. It's, in, it's not in Spain, but I have a canoe in Canada. Wonderful. Una canoa. A canoe. Canoe. Yes, I have a canoe. I used to go canoeing quite often, but I don't go canoeing much anymore. All right. Vocabulary of the day. Vocabulary of the day. That's right. You heard it. It's time for the vocabulary of the day. First, the first word today is ritmo. Ritmo. ¿Cómo se dice eso? Ritmo. Pace. Pace. Eso es. Palmera. 
palmera, palm tree, palm tree, beautiful. In the south of Spain, you can find a lot of palm trees. Socio. Con otro, otros, socio. Partner, partner, partner. There's a T there, but part, part. We don't normally pronounce that very hard, but partner, 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 partner. We The T is quite soft, partner. Perseverante, persevering. It's important to persevere, persevere. To be persevering if you want to learn English, for example. Fase, ¿cómo se dice eso? eso? Fase, fase. Phase, phase. You have to go through the various phases, like stages or steps, etapas. Stages, bueno, fase, phase. PH. The PH, remember in English, the PH makes an F sound, like phone. Phone, P H O N E, phone. And here, phase, P H A S E. Fase in Spanish and in English, phase. Phase. All right, let's move on, folks. Let's move on. We're talking about now a, a structure with an adjective. He's fat. It says in the book, his neighbor is fat. And then, and then you respond with, his neighbor is fat, but he's not that fat. Yes, his neighbor's fat, but he's not that fat. Su vecino es gordo, pero no es para tanto. No es para tanto. He's not that adjective. No es para tanto. Su casa es grande. Okay, su casa es grande. Su casa es grande, pero no es para tanto. Her house is big. Her house is big, but it's not that big. But it's not that Adjective. She's beautiful. Yeah, she's beautiful, but she's not that beautiful. His car is fast. In casa. So give me the answer. Give me the response. You know this one. It's easy. Come on. His car is fast, but it's not that fast. They drive it well. They drive it well, but they don't drive it that well. They're a great team. They're a great team, but they're not that great a team. It was a really cold day. It was a really cold day, but it wasn't that cold. It was a wide road. It was a wide road, but it wasn't that wide. It was a really long class. Yes, it was a really long class, but it wasn't that long. It was a great concert. It was a great concert, but it wasn't that great. It was really expensive. It was really expensive, but it wasn't that expensive. All right, very good. We're out of time, folks. We're out of time, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for listening to me. My name is Kyle, and I hope you have enjoyed today's program. I'll be back tomorrow, same time, same place. We'll review what we talked about today. We'll look at some more. If you have any questions, write in. Write in through the website, bauganingles.com. Ask us your questions. We're here to answer you. Log into your account. And... Uh, Send us your questions. We will answer them. We're here to solve all your problems and help you learn as well as possible, okay? We're here for you, so use the resources. Keep studying. Keep watching the TV. Keep listening to the radio. Keep studying with your student guide. And I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>